in this channel, most of the time we're dealing with uh, leather care, leather cleaning, polishing, and other channels also do that. And they also specialize, and you can see it more often, uh, projects like patinas. Personally, I have done a couple. They're not to my liking yet, so I need to practice more how to hand paint um, shoes, whether with a brush, a sponge, an airbrush, or any other method that you can use to actually paint the shoe. But the reason for this video is to show to you the experience that I have um, as I procure a custom paint patina service um, for a pair of shoes. This is a pair of Brook Brothers uh, shoes. I've had them for quite a while. I think uh, there was one video that I made about um, me polishing them. And they are Allen Edmonds, basically. It's a pair of uh, Oxfords in black. They have the uh, combination um, sole, rubber, and leather, and also the ducktail, ducktail um, heel. But uh, the reason for the video is to show to you the before and after. So I won't be doing the patina myself. Uh, for one, they are black shoes, they are brand new shoes, and if you're going to learn something, learn on something that you can actually um, allow yourself to mess up. That's the reason why you practice. Um, and I don't want to practice on a brand pair of new shoes. Nevertheless, I would like to have a gray color shoe. So I spoke with um, the person that's going to help me with the patina, and I don't want to mention anything else right now because this is the before I send them um, so hopefully when they get back they will be in a different color I'm gonna go with the combination he's mostly actually gonna strip the black as much as he can and then he's gonna I assume deliver a base of gray and then he's gonna add um, hints of black as well so the shoes will be gray with black and that's the color combination that I chose because that's the color that I do not own right now. I do not own gray shoes. It's not, it's not like I have to own different colors, but I thought it would be interesting to make this rather generic, for lack of a better word, shoe. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, add some flavor to them. So this is the first part of my experience getting a patina. And um, hopefully when they come back, we can discuss a little bit more into detail about what happened to the shoe and how they look when they come back. I sincerely hope that is a nice experience. And by the way, this is how a, a mirror shine looks after time. I think this, had, this shoe, this particular pair of shoe have not seen anywhere since I shined them, which would be maybe six months ago. <clears throat> so just like that, we will go from A to B. We're not now, we're not there yet. We are, I would say, more, more on the A stage. This is the initial stage. And then, We'll see what happens when they come back. Welcome back. Um, this is the second section of the review that I have about a patina service. Uh, the shoes that we started with were black and uh, if you ever have worked with uh, shoes and leather you know how complicated it is to remove a dark color such as black. That's why I went with a professional to see if it was possible to change the color of the shoes. I had to be apprehensive because at the beginning I thought it was not going to be possible, but Greg uh, told me that he thought it was possible and we went for it. I cannot stress how happy I am with the outcome. It was really um, a, a, a great experience, a great person. Um, the, whole, the whole experience was quite positive. Um, I like that Greg was always open to communication. He was also um, sharing opinions about what he thought could be done. 
so I cannot be happy. I cannot be happier with the outcome. Um, again, I cannot stress how complicated it is to remove a dark color such as black from a pair of shoes. Um, so without further ado, I'll present to you the final product. <clears throat> so these are the shoes. And the only um, input that I provided Greg was that I wanted the shoes to be navy blue and gray. So after he stripped the whole um, leather from the black collar, I saw the sh I saw the pictures in the midway process, and, and they looked fine. I I never thought he was going to be able to remove that much color, especially on these areas where the broken is. But he did a great job. Now I hope that light does. Um, justice to the color. He, I assume, um, dyed them gray first and then he does this transition from lighter gray to darker gray to navy blue. Believe me um, that they are not black, they're navy blue. And I think that he did a fantastic job. He also changed the laces from round, flat, uh, round laces to flat laces, which I think adds a lot of uh, eye appealing uh, factor to the shoes and um, I he also sent them back to me fully polished not mirror shine but fully polished I did not request a mirror shine um, uh, which is something that I, I, don't, I don't think I will do with these shoes anyway right now but there's small areas in here for instance where there is some light gray and then there is a lot of navy blue and I think that that makes the uh, combination just so nice. The only area where I have a, <clears throat> a little bit of uh, concern, if you may, well, not concern. I need to ask Greg if he actually did something on the tongues because I see that they are dark. I don't know if they are blue or black. Um, I'll have to tear the laces and find out. But because of how the shoe is constructed, um, the, the tongues are not visible, so that makes no difference whatsoever. Now, if you were talking about derbies, it would be a different situation. So if you're considering, um, you know, ever contacting him to uh, ask him about his service, that would be something that uh, you could ask. I could have asked maybe to change the color of the um, edge here of the soles to maybe gray, but because we have this black area of rubber, I thought I eh, just keep them black. Or I could have asked for navy blue, but overall, um, I think uh, that they turn out just fine. He also added this uh, museum effect, if you may, on the leather sole, which was not something that I would discuss. So I, I that was a plus value added. So I, I appreciate it and I thank him for that. I think it's just fantastic. Yes. <clears throat> Overall, I, I am quite happy with the outcome. I think the shoes look really, really nice. Now they went from a traditional black, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, but I really had a pair of blacks. So now I have a shoe that is a little bit more interesting to look at. Um, so if you ever think or if you want to consider a patina service, I cannot recommend Greg enough. Um, I think the overall process lasted a month or so. That's because he has a lot of things going on, so um, I was patient about that. And I think the, I mean, a couple of weeks, a month, it's not, it's not too much of a big deal. So if you ever have a pair of shoes that you're not finding interesting enough, Maybe a change in color would make you reconsider the shoes themselves. Or if they are reaching that point in life where they need a resole, maybe it would be also something worthwhile to explore. Uh, having the shoe resold and then changing color so that you have a different shoe, if you may. Again, thank you, Greg, for the service. Thank you for the overall experience. I'm really happy. Um, and I cannot recommend you enough. And just like that, we went from A to B, from a black Oxford to a gray navy blue. Thank you very much. I hope this video creates value. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe, share with your friends. And um, I'll see you next time. Take care.